PlayStation 5 motherboard. Let me show you what's going on. And we've had a little bit of an incident with the fan connector. This is beginning to be a regular occurrence. In this case, the fan connector is still attached to the fan along with all the pads. This will be what we have to do today. For your orientation purposes, we'll be working on this side of the board. And in this area is where the fan connector is located next to the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. So the first thing we need to do is prep this area a little bit so that we can begin pad repair. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this loose stuff here as best as I can. There we go. One down, one to go. Next thing we're gonna do is bring out our handy dandy grinding pin. One of my favorite tools I have purchased. We need to create places to solder our new pads too. These anchors are ground, so any of this surrounding area here is also ground. That is not always the case, so be sure to read the board. Like this area here is not ground. You would not want to grind into that. So read the board before you grind. Let's give ourselves plenty of area to solder to so that, that pad stays in place. This one is a little more of a challenge because this via is all that there is to solder to. But it's a small one so we can just run a regular size jumper uh, almost all the way around. Definitely wouldn't want to grind that via, that is a completely different signal. Let's set up for tinning, add some flux. In order to tin, however, I must turn on my equipment. And while I turn on my equipment, you throw up my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the associate links in the description. If you go to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. Let's tin up our areas here. Our makeshift pads. Turn there's some amount of solder on them. Apologies for it being a little bit darker, but I need to have some indirect lighting for the next bit of work. Anyone who follows me knows that I like to use the copper tape method for these. And we're going to kind of eye the size we need here. And this one is probably going to be our anchors. We're not using copper tape for the adhesive. We're using it just because it's copper and it's flat and makes for a nice new pad. That'll work fine. And that will work for the other side. And one thing I'm going to try here is to pre tin these and then solder them down. So, just something I was thinking about recently that might lend a little more strength to the pads because it doesn't really matter which side we solder to. The adhesive is going to be gone anyway. Let's see if we can pre tin these without warping them. That should do. Now we're going to flip it and put the solder side down. We don't want to make in contact with that signal there, so let's be careful about that. I think that is going to make for a much more solid pad. Let's do it round two. Add some flux, add some solder to our tip. Stop sticking to my tweezers. Oh yeah, I already like the results of this better than prior. Not that the prior ones were not solid, but I just think this is going to work out a lot better. Okay, this is a large signal, so we want a large pad. I mean, relatively large. We are looking through a microscope. For a surface mount pad, it is huge. Might be a little thick. So we're going to do some precision trimming on this. Just want to make sure it's not going to bridge over to where I don't want it to. I don't care if this is wide up here. I think that'll be fine. If 
We need to get over. I think that'll work. This one, I believe, is ground. Closer on the first cut this time. I think that'll do. I don't know if the pretending is making a whole lot of difference for these guys, but I think they made a lot of difference on the grounds. We will have to clean thoroughly, get all that adhesive off if we're going to solder to this side. It's all one great big experiment. Don't be afraid to try different things. For this next part, we'll be switching irons and tweezers to our black iron easies and our pico pencil. I want to give us a little bit of wire on the other side here, facing down to secure with UV solder mask. And we're running a little bit long because we're gonna wrap this side around the pin on the connector. We don't need it too long, but right about here should be good. Okay, now we need a thorough cleaning. I hope you're getting value out of this video. If you find this something you're not ready to tackle just yet, just a reminder, I do offer these services both local and mail-in. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll give back to you personally. If you mention this video, I'll give you a 10% discount on this repair. Change our orientation so that I can more easily scrub with the pads. And get all this adhesive off here. And hit it with the ultrasonic brush a little bit. So we can get under those pads, and all that flux out of there. UV cure and flux do not mix, so we need to get as much of it gone as possible. We're ready to proceed with the securing with UV. With UV solder mask, a little goes a long way in most cases, but it's non-conductive, so don't worry about making a mess. As I have said many times, if you want pretty, don't rip your connector off the board. This just lends a little extra security, particularly for the jumper wire and the pads. When we go to solder the connector on, this solder will likely wet and you don't want these moving. It'll keep it in place. Ideally, you want a little bit on the pad and a little bit on the board. Okay, as these pads are kind of sitting up, apply my UV cure and I'm going to tack them down with the laser. It will not be a full cure, but it'll be enough to hold them down for the full cure. I want these guys to sit flat. Just a quick tap with the laser, enough to hold it down. Go ahead and take that part down too. Then we can put more around it once it's being held flat. It's kind of like an extra hand. And it's fine if you get a glob on there, just spread it out. It's not conductive, so it doesn't matter if it makes contact with both pads. It's all good. Once it's cured down, we'll scrape it off a little bit. Okay, and we don't really want any on the jumper. The jumper will be a different approach. Now we're going to stick our big UV lamp on there and walk away and let it cure thoroughly, probably about 10 or 15 minutes while I eat a snack or something, and then come back and finish the work. Should be well cured at this point. Oh yeah, that's rock solid. Now we need to do a little bit of cleanup. We we'll need the ends of these primarily so that I can solder the pins. I don't think I'm worried about anything else. Yeah, I, mean, I kicked that on there pretty good. Hopefully that'll be enough. If not, we can clean off more. Let's tin this up. Switching back to our micro pencil. With this portion. I love how that did not move at all. Excellent. Very good. Our next issue. Just grabbing our connector in there, ain't he? Good grief. With some difficulty, we have removed the connector. It does look like it's salvageable. I have actually sourced these connectors, but we'll go ahead and reuse this one. No reason to use up our stock needlessly. Of course, removing the pads can always be a bundle of fun. Nice and clean. Let's take a look and see if we need to do any adjusting. I don't think so. Should have plenty of solder space. I'm reasonably happy with that. That center one, make sure it's solid. Oh yeah, definitely solid. 
and grab our black and easy tweezers and then gently wrap this wire around this last pin ever so gently good wraps be fine but three or four would even be better Okay, I think that'll do. All right, let's give it the lift test. Can we lift the board with the connector? Kind of, sort of. Yes, that is rock solid, kids. Excellent. Clean it off and we'll come back for one final inspection. This is anything but pretty, but it is absolutely rock solid and will get the job done. That connector ain't going anywhere without a whole lot of effort. I think I like the tweaks we've made to the method. I think it actually made it uh, even more solid than it was before, which is a good. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one. And I'll see you there. And until then, peace, love, and solder wick. Mm -hmm.